about a quarterback, I found myself slipping on certain things that affect my overall well-being. I figured that if I had a more efficient Notion habit tracker template to be more mindful and encourage me to be more consistent and accountable, that would help with my Notion goal tracker. The existing trackers out there didn't provide me with the solution to track my routines and build effective habits. With Notion, I went about building one for myself, the best Notion habit tracker in 2021. Without the need to configure any formula, it has some really insightful features combined with some of the best practices outlined by Charles Duhigg and James Clear in their popular books. Stick around as I am about to blow your minds away with an advanced habit tracker in Notion, especially the dashboard that allows me to diagnose and measure and the Easter egg section of the video that shows some of the unique ways in which I have set up the tracker. It takes anywhere between 18 to 254 days for people to form the habit and an average of 66 days for a new behavior to become automatic. So, the more complex the task, the more time it could take to automate. The most fundamental question you ask yourself is which habit do you go after? Keystone habits are the habits that could spark a chain reaction for other good habits to take hold. A simple example is when you start exercising, you also start to eat healthier, consume more water, sleep better and perform better on your actions, creating a domino effect. So I paid special attention to the principles, to the configuration and to the overall notion aesthetics of the template to motivate me to use it daily. There is an elaborate user guide with functionality details documenting the 267 individual properties and 17 views and the functionality changes I was making from time to time. You will find Easter eggs throughout the template which I have taken a lot of effort to mention inside of the user guide. For configuration, I enabled a planning section for naming each habit. Click on the plan habit days to add the habit frequency by habit and by week and elaborate which days of the week I could do this in. In option number three, I can configure the number of days it would take to automate the habit for more complex habits in question. In the success and the failure area, you will find the success and the failure criteria defined at a weekly and at a monthly level. To be clear, I have set the threshold to be below 50% and above 79%. So it is red below and green above this point and amber in between. Linking to the setup area, days to weeks and weeks to months was also easy in the plan. By just ticking off the habits and looking at the selected habits column, I can make sure that I finish these off. Most of your Notion habit tracking can be done from the home screen itself through the mobile view where you could link the habits chosen to the day of the week or tick off the completed habits. To add more qualitative feedback and a non-binary view, I enable the capture of the quality of your sleep, the environment you're in and the day's mood. I've also quickly enabled you to add additional remarks and if you go into that day's record, there is a template where you can record performance notes for more information by habit. Across the dashboards, you have many, many views to show you the information easily. The habits formed dashboard shows you the number of days the habit has been in progress and how many days are left. The monthly Notion Habit Tracker dashboard provides you with a board view for a clean look. If you are now performing the habits to satisfaction on certain days of the week, then the day-wise difficulty to execute is the view to see to catch up on other days. If you want to know which habit is dragging you down, then you can look at by habit by month. 
in the weekly view, I specifically want to draw your attention to habit string and the gap string. The habit string tells you the number of habits in the week with a frequency of the number of times per week for habit number one, for habit number two, and so on. The gap string tells you how many more times you need to execute on each of these habits every single week. If you go further to the right, you will find the status by habit by week with red indicating failure as per your threshold rate, success in green, and amber somewhere in the middle. Notion progress bars at the month and at the week level indicate overall progress. Even at the daily level, you have percentages of habits completed so that at a quick glance, you can tick them off. Success in habit tracking by day or by week could mean different things. I've also spent a considerable amount of time on aesthetics of this habit tracker, making the entire thing easily navigatable and pretty with icons. Finding out the week of the year is a difficult thing, so I have a guide to point to the correct week of the year. The same is true for the day of the week so that you can map to the habits to days and the correct habits are reflected. In the habits to days mapping, new habits are mapped to the day of the week. And to make sure that the dashboard remains correct, I have formulae to take care of this. A combination of the habit string and the gap string and the habit status is very powerful and quickly point to the areas of improvement. This is just the tip of the iceberg and there are many more showcased inside the user guide. I designed the system so that it can embed itself straight into your Notion task and project manager. This is hands down the best habit tracker in Notion. And to pick it up, all you have to do is to access the template. The link is in the description below. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.